So far, you've used methods and functions that are available by default in Python. It's now time to learn about the vast ecosystem of packages. A package is a collection of several Python scripts or modules introducing new functions, methods, and data types. Before you can use a package, you need to download it. You can use the command pip3 install package name to install the relevant package. So, in order to install the numpy package, which we will be using next, you use pip3 install numpy. Note that you don't need to install packages in DataCamp courses, as we have already installed them for you. You need to download a package only once, but you have to import it in your workspace every time you wish to use the package. To import a package, use the import keyword followed by the package name. Thus, to import the numpy package, type import numpy. This command will load all the functionality of the NumPy package into Python for your use. In NumPy, we can create new data types called arrays. We first import NumPy and then use the array function to create an array. A couple of things to note. The array function takes a list as its input. And in order to access the array function, you need to use numpy.array to indicate that this function is from the numpy package. You can use the type function as you did in the previous chapters to check the type of my array, which is a numpy nd array. As you saw in the last slide, every time you want to use a function from a package, you need to type the package name and the function name, which can get tedious. To make your life easier, you can use an alias to refer to the package by using the as keyword. For example, you can use the np alias for numpy by using the command import numpy as np. Now you can access all the functions from numpy using np.function name. You might be asking yourself, how are arrays different from list and why are they used? Arrays have several benefits over Python list. They are more compact in how they store data, resulting in faster access in reading and writing items. This makes arrays more convenient and efficient for especially large data sets. Another reason to use arrays is that there are numerous array associated functions within several Python packages that make trend modeling, statistics, and visualizations easier, all things that are important for finance. Arrays are different from lists because they can contain only a single data type. If you do create a NumPy array with different data types, as shown here, NumPy will automatically convert all the elements to the most compatible type. In this case, all the elements are converted to a string. Arrays are also different from lists in their operations. When you add to list using the plus sign, the list will be concatenated. However, when you add NumPy arrays, the result is an element-wise sum of both the arrays. Similar to Python list, arrays can be indexed and sliced to subset elements. You can select a specific index element of an array using indexing notation, or you can slice a range of elements using the slicing notation specifying a range of indices. Recall that the slicing notation in Python is left inclusive and right exclusive. Similar to list slicing, you can specify a step size when slicing NumPy arrays. In this case, we specified a step of two to subset every other element in the array. It's now time to create your own